In September 2009, we captured the works being undertaken at Gugong Dam Spillway, another important water security major project. Some nine months on, it's time to have another look and see how far the work has progressed. Members of the project team were on hand to offer an update and describe their roles on this important improvement to Gugong Dam. Site engineer Asher Trounce describes the activity at the top of the spillway project near the dam. We've got a couple of guys uh, just finishing off the approach, the right hand approach to the spillway where we've uh, raised the existing walls to uh, accommodate the new uh, predicted maximum flood level. Over we go, we're seeing a little bit of the um, rock work, the rock placement and so forth occurring and that's our, the site tower crane in the background. The metal um, structure we see on top of the crest, this is a um, diversion structure. The diversion structure is put in place just in the case we do get a high flood event or we get a flood event, there's the ability for us to do work on half the spillway. The chances of a flood, you can't rule it out, I guess. So therefore, that's a, that's a uh, measure to ensure the construction activities can uh, continue. From there, we go into the uh, repair of the upstream training wall, which had been uh, severely affected uh, and we're in the last stages of finishing uh, the repair of that. Uh, this area that we're seeing in front of us now, this used to be an existing borrow area where they borrowed a lot of the rock from to make the, uh, the Gugong Dam main embankment. So we've used this in our construction activities to, uh, to place a lot of our excess material and at the moment we're, we're capping it. Uh, so in, during high flood events, it's all um, it won't erode away and, and flow downstream. So that's what this screen is. This, this machine is a reclaimer. Uh, the material's uh, fed in through the front top hopper. Uh, it goes through a series of shakers and belts and it'll be um, sorted into 150 mil material plus and 150 mil material minus. The central part of the project, the spillway chute and walls, offer some of the more hazardous work areas due to the lack of flat surfaces. Hi, uh, g'day, my name is Joe Webby. Um, I'm a structures foreman for the spillway um, and the B and A walls. My actual area is the extension of the spillway chute, um, plus the A walls and the B walls, like I said before. Um, biggest challenge for me is access to the construction of the walls. Um, driving these guys, the workers, to see why safety is so important and why access is so important. Um, another thing, there's not much flat surfaces on the spillway chute, it's all on a grade, so that's another challenge. Especially this, this like this is a real uh, eye turner for me, um, where safety is priority. Um, and there, there's been a, even here when we first started, there's a big change to where we are now. Not to be forgotten are the lowest areas of the project, where a great deal of excavation and earth moving works are taking place. My name's Graham Campbell, I'm in charge of, I'm a leading hand, I'm in charge of the uh, Gugong Dam Spillway Plunge Pool area with the earthworks and water, I'm monitoring and pumping. And, um, I'm also uh, an environmentalist over the whole site, uh, looking after any environmental problems and, and the things like that. Yeah, well the spillway area there now that they've concreted, uh, uh, advanced concreting on the, on the spillway itself. And we've got one more blast behind us there. We're gonna do the pre-split today and then the main production blast next week and that'll be the end of the blasting and then we'll excavate out the plunge pool and uh, shotcrete the back of the plunge pool and uh, clean all the, all the embankments down and yeah, no, that's getting towards the end. Uh, some rain we have had here, uh, we've had a, two or three inches at a time and things get washed away a little bit and we've got to replace silt fences and, 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 and stuff like that again. Uh, but normally it holds up pretty well. Like I've always been in construction for about 40 years, nearly now, and getting a little bit too, far, too long. 
there's a lot of planning and, and, and so forth that goes into the work. There's a lot of office space work, which, is, which, uh, which you can get down in the crux of engineering. You work with some fairly experienced and knowledgeable people. But there's also the on-site uh, benefits in the sense you can see how the things are getting built, how what changes can actually uh, aid, the, aid the project and, and, uh, and bring a better outcome. You're outdoors. You're on a, yeah, I'm in a different project every couple of years. Uh, it's the challenge. I'm not, I've never been on a project where it's the same. Um, and meeting other people. I mean, you know, it's, I don't know, I've always liked it, I suppose.